After learning how to do this on our Z-Board, our team tried connecting the Z-Board FPGA to 64 cascaded LED drivers and 64 cascaded push buttons to create a physical version of the GIMP software we are seeing played right now. Of course, GIMP stands for Game Interface Map Program. After successfully prototyping a square, we unfortunately found our squares were too small for our pieces, so plan B was to handcraft 64 magnetic buttons, individually wire each one to the board, braid the wires, and shove everything into a box. A lot of fun wiring up all those little wires. Finally, we are ready to play a game of chess. First, we bring out the white knight, represented, of course, by a rook. GIMP has no ability to identify the piece, it simply identifies whether a square is occupied or not. Next, we bring out a black pawn. Matt experiences some trouble getting the magnetic push button to lift. After lifting the white knight, we see the black pawn illuminate in its own color to indicate a valid kill. Matt removes the pawn, and GIMP shows that it expects the knight to be placed in the pawn's spot. In a stroke of strategic brilliance, Black moves his king forward. A flashing red light indicates the presence of an unidentified piece. Matt shifts the knight to fix the issue. Matt is told to do something more interesting. He panics and moves the knight to a far side. Four neighboring squares on the right are wired incorrectly, so they receive each other's inputs and outputs. Finally, Matt brings the black queen out. 